This is a massive childcare center. They're springing up everywhere in Singapore. Some centers hold up to a thousand students, kids as young as two months up to six years. They're part of a hugely ambitious government plan to offer childcare to as many kids as possible because the country believes it's good for its youngest citizens. Imagine if you only place the child at home with an adult, the child will not be able to pick up certain traits. And once the child joins a childcare environment, the child will have immense opportunity to work with children of other ages. Tian Ai Ling oversees a network of centers on the island. In the next five years, the government plans to have 200,000 preschool spots. The plan is based on new research that shows the early years are crucial for building strong neural connections. Experts have found that kids who are encouraged to explore, talk, and socialize have the best chance at succeeding later in life. When a child is young, the brain is actually a very malleable, uh, it's in a very malleable stage to absorb various learning, be it language learning, social emotional skills, and so on. To include as many kids as possible, the government has capped monthly fees at $720 and offers subsidies. Children here are learning about Singapore's diversity. The country has four official languages, English, Mandarin, Tamil, and Malay. So playtime focuses on making a Malay dish, while story time and language lessons are in Mandarin. I decided to become a teacher because I love children. Recruiting teachers is an important part of the government's early childhood strategy. So it's setting up a national institute dedicated to training preschool teachers. When I introduce to them the instrument, I can also show them how it's used, how it's handled, the appropriate way of using it. And it's not just them listening to like YouTube clips or like seeing other people do it, but they get to experience it for themselves as well. It's not just the size of these centers that's important, it's where they're built. Nestled among these sprawling government-built housing complexes, it's where more than 80% of Singaporeans live, including many young families. Both parents can have peace of mind when they head out to work, and at the same time, very accessible, very convenient for them to pick up their children after work. To have quality childcare is always one of the biggest concerns for those who want to have children. Ling Ling Fang is a population researcher at National University of Singapore. The main reason, of course, is women uh, mostly would desire to continue working after having children. So who to take care of uh, their children becomes important. Working women around the world are grappling with how to care for their children. France offers free universal childcare called creche, but waiting lists are long. In the UK, some working parents can receive 30 hours of free childcare a week, but the program is underfunded. And in the US, weekly childcare costs have gone up about 70% since 1985. So Singapore's childcare centers offer a unique approach, but it's still too early to know if they can provide the same individual attention that comes from smaller settings, like with grandparents as caregivers. But Tian Ling believes this model has potential. We pilot, we pick up important lessons, and we will go out there, scale it, have the center play a little role model example to the rest of the centers. These centers also serve another purpose. They're a visual reminder to have more babies. And that's really important right now in Singapore because a tiny island nation is facing a declining birth rate. It's at a seven-year low. Even the prime minister brought it up during his annual address to the nation. All this will be for naught unless young couples do your part. Please have more babies. Look at this latest government campaign. Making Singapore a great place for families. You can see the public flats in the background. Three children, two and one, so it's always having more than two children. Research shows when parents have affordable childcare, they have more children. And having more kids who are stimulated from a young age is important for the future of this tiny country. One of our natural resources, if you like, is really the people around us. And I think this investment in our young people, it is not just about the country, but really is to create Singaporeans who are happy, Singaporeans who are also gracious, 
and yet at the same time always seeking to be better.